Good afternoon, friends. It's Curtis Robinson operating Kudo. And Kudo is the archer build for the samurai class. I am here in the um, kind of northern area of Lake Lanius. And I made a little mark here for myself. And you hear that gonging sound? That would be a walking mausoleum. Dead giveaway. I will tell you guys that one of the easiest ways to get 20, 30, 40,000 experience is to find one of these bad boys and take it down. So how do you go about doing that? First of all, you gotta figure out the best approach. This is not it. I'm gonna go back over here a little bit. And let's see what we can do here. Now, you're gonna think you can make this jump on your horse at some point. It'll get close, but it won't be close enough. It really is, it's a long way. So you're going to have to get in the right place and be careful not to fall. And you're going to have to, you know, really masterfully shoot. All right, I think I want... This might work. All right, so what do you got to do? First of all, you got to have long range weapon like a bow. Secondly, you see these little scaly parts on the wall in my crosshairs? Those are skulls, and you want to shoot those skulls if you can. Not an easy trick at this range, particularly since the stinking mausoleum is walking around. But if you get lucky, I'm not even in range. Even with my long-range talisman, I'd have to really angle this up just to get lucky. So you want to get a little bit closer. Just stand by. It'll walk towards you. I tell you that because inside each one of these bad boys, there is a remembrance similar to this one. I just killed Renala, so I have this rem remembrance. You can cash it in for 20, 30, 40,000, depending on which remembrance you have. And you can also cash it in for a weapon. Well, for Renala, I'm not going to need her, cra um, her staff or the uh, spell that she gives. So I'll be cashing that in for some money. Or some runes. Oh, that was so close. That might work. Hey, I got one. It's kind of a cool moving target, kind of a uh, challenge. I'll tell you that uh, not an easy challenge. Let's see. There's some on the ground and some right there. Oh, that was awful. Maybe? I got one. Got two. Let's let it stop moving. So the alternative, if you can't make these shots, you can't predict where these are all skulls right there. See these skulls? Uh, if you can't make the shots, is you just simply wait till it gets close and use your sword. You jump down on it with your horse from this high area, trying not to die. Uh, I have misjudged it awfully on numerous occasions. It's going down. I have apparently taken down enough of these. There it is. Now, we're not exactly through the woods yet. Let's make this jump here. I'm guessing this is going to be a walk off here. Got that one. Make a little turn. Do a little walk off here. Oops, so close. Like that one, and that one, and this one. You got time. Now, being that I've killed both Godric and Renala, I should have two options for the remembrance. Here it is. I can take that one, or I can take this one. Um, I don't need something, I don't need either one of these, so I'm just going to snag whichever one randomly. Then, you know, we're always talking about building this character, right? Leveling up is important. I'm just going to, you can go to, you can use these just like you do runes from any grace, but I like to go here. I want to see how much they're worth. So... By the way, you could probably sell it to any merchant, but I always like to come here. Hugh is my dude. Oh, my guy. I took you for debt, no matter it's all the same. 
They had your arms. Alrighty, that's not what I wanted. I want to sell. So we go here. That one's worth twenty grand. There are some that are worth more. If you wait until later in the game, you'll get you know thirty or forty or fifty grand. Yeah, it's however it is. But I can sell it, and I have two of them. That's forty grand. Pretty cool, right? Now I got forty thousand. What are we gonna do with this? I mean, obviously, if I could, I would upgrade my weapons. Strength and armament. I'm looking for number threes for that bow, number fours, and number threes for that not that blade. So threes and fours mostly. <laughs> and you can also upgrade your spear dash here. Very important. And my dude is maxed out, and that dude's maxed out. Go bigger. That was the same guy actually. Okay, let's go over here, and I'm going to go ahead and level up real quick. Trying to get to 40. I need a minimum of 40 in my vitality. That's what I'm looking for. 38, and that's 39. It's so close. And then I can start building, you know, if I want to make this guy more strength oriented or more uh, dexterity oriented. He's probably going to need some strength because the bow he uses, the bows he uses, the bows that he uses are all strength based. All right. So I am up here. Near the Bellum Church, I went down here to go and get that uh, particular item, and I'm probably going to go. Probably going to go ahead and go this way and uh, start climbing towards Altus. <laughs> There's a lot of great places to get smithing stones, by the way. All of the mines uh, are available. Go get those smithing stones. I'll catch you guys soon. Take care and be sure to subscribe. Peace.